Yo, what's good with the YouTube? Welcome back to another video. Now I'm in the car, as you can see. I know just recently I uploaded a couple episodes of my new series, Taking It Back, where I take it back and play all the games I used to play as a kid. Now with that show, I need to have all of the games that I used to play, and it's kind of hard to find them now. You can only get them at like pawn shops, collectible shops, and stuff like that. So if you haven't already, make sure you go check out Taking It Back. But today what we're going to be doing is going to like a, a pawn shop type, like collectible type store and looking for retro games. Now the twist on all of this is I want to find these games for a cheaper price than I would pay online because online these prices are are pretty high. Well, it's not necessarily high because it's a rare collectible, but I just feel as though if I can, I can find some of this stuff in store for a cheaper price. You get what I'm saying? So... Today we're going to a place called Media Madhouse. It's like 20, 30 minutes away and they have collectibles, games, all types of stuff. Our goal today is to go to this store and try to find some retro games, whether that be for Nintendo 64, PlayStation 1, Sega Genesis, um, anything we can think of or any retro games that, are, you know, that's dope. We're going to try to find those today. I'm on the way there and I'll see y'all when we get there. Yo, so we just pulled up the media madhouse. Of course, I got a mask up. Got to be safe. Um, roll the windows up. We about to go in there and let's see what they got. Okay, what's good y'all? So I just got out of there. Um, and as you can see, let me make sure I don't got none of my card info on here. Okay, we good to go. Um, so this is what we ended up spending, $104.20. And I'm gonna show y'all what we came out with. And of course we're gonna take it home. We're gonna uh, do some gameplay on some of this stuff. I might even do, you know, a little bit of gameplay in this video. So the first thing, First thing we ended up getting was a Sega Genesis. Comes with one controller, cords. Um, it looks pretty good. I think the only thing that's throwing me off about it is like the motherboard is <laughs> hanging out of this joint, but it's good to go. Um, they said everything's tested and it works really well. So we're gonna take this to the house and we're gonna, you know, we're gonna get some gameplay in on it. Um, this reset button do look a little, you know, look, but it's good to go. Let's test it. Good control. This stuff is old. When I tell you it is old, it's old, y'all. So we're probably going to get that um, sanitized when we get back to the crib. And then next up, we have College Slam. I never played this before, but it looked fun. I'm a, you know, a huge basketball fan. So we got College Slam. Next up, we have a classic. NBA Ballers Phenom. Now, I bought this because I've never played this before. I played NBA Ballers. As y'all can see on that last episode of Taking It Back, I played that, but I've never played NBA Ballers Phenom. And, um, yeah, I don't know. I got Chauncey Billups on the cover. It looked dope. They say it got a bonus disc inside. And the bonus disc has... Oh, this is... The, it got, the bonus disc is the soundtrack that it has inside. That's pretty cool. And then these last two games are the Heat. The, that was pretty good, but this is the Heat that I ended up getting. Um, games for the Sega Genesis. We have Wolverine. Um, and it has the original case. Like, this is, this is dope to see, like, this original, you know, casing and packaging. Let me open it up. So they have the original booklets and everything. So we got that. And then last, the last, last, last game that we got. Boom. We got Shaq Fu. Original case. Original game booklet and everything. This is pretty dope. I actually, I'm not going to lie. 
In there, they had a green Nintendo 64. I think I might trade my Nintendo 64 out for that. They said I could bring it in and we can trade it out and we can, you know, figure out the difference in, in, in pricing and stuff. So I think I actually might do that. Should I do that? Let me know what y'all think in the comment section down below. And let me know if y'all think these are good prices for, for these items. Um, it seemed pretty good to me. I didn't... In there, they also had Def Jam 5 for New York and I wasn't... It was like $84. Of course, I already have that game, but I think that's... I feel like that's a high price. I probably paid 40 or 50 bucks for mine. So yeah, you can you can get this stuff at different prices. Um, I might check one more pawn shop on the way home. And we'll, we'll see what we can get. But this is what we got so far. Hopefully, um, hopefully we find some more good stuff. But this is only episode one of this series. So if y'all want to see more, definitely let me know in the comment section down below. Uh, I'm gonna try to get some better footage too. I didn't really want to record too much because um, I don't know, I just felt weird recording in there. I feel like I'm invading their privacy. You know, you just don't want to go into like an establishment and start recording everything. So um, I'm gonna get better at that though. I'm probably get like a GoPro or something that I can just you know stick on my shirt and and um, you know get better footage that way so I don't feel so weird about it. But yeah, we on the way to the next location. Um, we're going to try this pawn shop down the street and see y'all when we get there. Okay, y'all. So we just pulled up to the pawn shop down the street. As you can see on here, it says pawning, buying, selling, jewelry, go, uh, blah, 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 game systems. I see game systems. So, hey, we might be able to find us a PS2 in here. You never know. You never know. Let's get in here and go see. <laughs> okay y'all so that was a fail they didn't really have anything in there um they had like three nintendo 64 games and that was it they had like a couple of xbox uh one games and some handheld games and no systems like it wasn't um it wasn't even worth recording plus when i started walking in there um it's it looks sketch but like it, it was a it was a good place like don't get me wrong um the door didn't have any windows on it, so it just kind of threw me off. But, um, yeah, they didn't have much video games. He said he gets video games pretty often, or in, in bundles. So, um, this is definitely a place that we'll check back. Um, here in South Bend, we don't have too many places like this, so I'll, I'll probably be going out of town and doing a lot of these videos. So, let me know what y'all think in the comment section down below. If y'all like these videos, definitely let me know, because I'm going to keep doing them. So, so, so far today, we did get some steals. Uh, I'm going to go home and test some of those out, and uh, hey, we're going to see how it goes. <laughs> 